guys welcome back to world's illuminate 11 on this tuesday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here and uh yesterday we had three messages that came through uh, the first message was really a message in relation to the journey you know it was more like a message of power for the divine feminine you know the angels showing you that there are things that are happening and you know on this journey it is about you seeing the things from a higher perspective you know knowing that things are happening energetically and those things are showing you that there is forward movement in in relation to your journey it's about you trusting and having faith you know and i talked about the signs that i had seen over the weekend including the ladybug as well that came and landed on my on my thumb and you know and then i shared a little video as well of a ladybug that did land on my uh, on my top you know uh, my jumpsuit a few weeks ago as well you know all those signs it's about trusting in those signs trusting in the messages that you're receiving that are showing you that there is forward movement in relation to your journey really beautiful message do check that out it will help you on your journey if you haven't seen it and then the second message was really sort of checking in with the energy to see what was going on as we we're starting the new week and that was a beautiful message as well that was showing that the divine masculines are making making progress on their journey you know there are things happening in their lives that are bringing in success that is helping them to move forward as well towards their divine feminine towards the life that they desire you may not be able to see it yet but the angels are showing you that there is forward movement there are things happening and you know your your dreams are coming true that was the big message that was coming through so if you haven't seen that do check that out as well beautiful message and then the last video was a pick a pile and I've introduced, um, you know, I've started doing pick up house again, well, starting yesterday. And we asked the question, what does your divine masculine want you to know? And, you know, we had three different, but beautiful and, you know, powerful messages coming through for all the three piles. And, you know, so powerful messages coming through from your divine masculines as well. So do check out all three if you haven't seen them or any of the ones that you may not have seen. So today we are just going to bring in a few decks to check in with the angels to see what they would like you to know and i picked a card from the world offering oracle and it says striving and i really feel that this this message really is about the divine feminine and it says eventually the individuals ego, the individual egos drive so it says the individual but i'm going to say the divine feminine here eventually the divine feminine's egos drive to make things happen falls away replaced with a relaxed trusting openness to answers as they arise so this is really talking about you know how at the start of the journey as a divine feminine you are really in this place where you are the ego is sort of you know controlling you it is driving everything in relation to the way you see the journey it's like you know you are in this place of fear you want you're holding on to things too much you want to control the journey you want your divine masculine to act a certain way you you are in this place of fear and that is that ego that is controlling you but as you grow and learn on this journey you know eventually the divine feminine's e the divine feminine ego's drive to make things happen so that drive of the ego to make things happen for the divine feminine it falls away you know it it gets to a point where it's it really just falls away and it gets replaced with a relaxed trusting openness to answers as they arise so you really get to this place where the ego starts to get integrated as well you start to learn on this journey you start to grow as a divine feminine you start to understand things from a higher perspective you start to get into this place of forgiveness and compassion and you know and just really sort of see that you are actually on this journey to learn you know to learn to really understand things from a higher perspective and as that happens you know that ego's drive to make things happen wanting things now wanting to control things it all starts to fall away and you know and that you know when you are in that place you are in fear you you are panicking you are you know all sorts of things all your mind is racing and there is so much going on you know you are in this place of being tense and worried and sleepless nights 
and and it's 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 like a nightmare for you as a divine feminine it really is but then when that ego's drive to make things happen you know when you are getting into this place of understanding when when it starts falling away that's when you start to it starts to be replaced with this relaxed, trusting openness to answers. You start feeling more relaxed in yourself. You find that inner peace. You know, you start getting into this place of trusting that the creator and the angels have got this journey. They are guiding you towards that life that you truly desire. That, you know, in the universe and, you know, the creator, the angels, they're not working against you. They're working to help you to get to the beautiful life that you truly desire. You start to find find yourself getting more relaxed on this journey you start to accept things more you start to release that wanting things now do you trust that the creator is taking you to where you're truly meant to be you trust that you're being divinely guided on your journey and you start to relax even within yourself you know you start to find your joy in your day-to-day -day life because you see that you know and you were never really in control when it comes to this journey, but it is about you getting to that place of faith, getting to that place of trusting that you are being guided on this journey and you are being guided in the most beautiful way to where you are truly meant to be. And you are being guided so that you release all those things that are to do with the ego, you know, that ego's drive to try and take you off your path. And, you know, and you get more relaxed on your journey. You become more open as well to the answers that you are being given in relation to your journey. You know, when you see the signs and the synchronicities, when you know from how you feel that you're on the right path, you start to trust in that more as well because you're letting that ego fall away that tries to bring you in all that fear, the doubt, and that worry and you know you are integrating all that you're pushing all that fear away and you are stepping more into your power and that really and that brings so much inner peace it brings joy it brings inner peace it brings this calmness about you and it also really helps you to step into your power so you know it's really it's a, it's a beautiful journey because you start in this place of being in so much pain and struggle and, you know, and all this tension and all these things, this fear. And then as time progresses, you know, these things start to fall away. All these things that you're learning to let go of, that you've learned all your life, they start to fall away. And you start to move more and more towards being your true authentic self. And your true authentic self is that person of love, you know, who, who really is more relaxed because when it comes, when it's everything about love, there is peace with love, there is peace, there is calmness, there is joy, there is just, you know, just sort of things flowing rather than trying to, you know, the control everything. So, you know, that is that I really feel this card was showing the journey of the divine feminine and you trust in the creator, trust that, you know, the creator sees the bigger picture and you are being led to where you're truly meant to be. And you gain that faith on this journey and that helps you to move more into a place of flow as well. And the little prayer is thank you, divine. Thank you creator for letting me move with the flow so you know that's when you release all that fear and you start going with the flow and that is what we are all learning with on this journey to trust in the creator and just go with the flow of life and not try and control anything not try and strive to make things happen you know that's what the card is about striving not try to strive and you know make your divine masculine do anything or and this relates to all other parts of your life as well it's about just getting to that place of going with the flow trusting that the creator your provider is bringing in all the things for you at the right time for you and that's about that is what being flow is all about and that is what we are learning and we keep moving forward forward as divine feminines on this journey and you know just know that you are doing well you are not in the place where you were before you know where you were going through the all the the pain and the fear and you are moving forward on your journey so just keep moving forward and knowing that you are on the right path and great things are coming in for you so we're going to bring in a few other decks we'll bring in the guardian angel reading cards to see what the angels would like you to know okay so these two just jumped out and we're also going to bring in the power of love cards thank you angels what messages are coming through for everyone today 
So any other messages coming through for everyone from this deck. And we'll also bring in the daily crystal inspiration. Thank you, angels. What messages are coming through for everyone today? Okay, so the cards that came out from the Guardian. Um, so the first one is the Angel of Solitude. So this is really powerful. And, you know, this is about taking that time to yourself. And, you know, when, when separation happens as a divine feminine, you take the time to yourself to really get to know who you truly are. You know, that's the time that you start healing and learning to release all the, the fear. And, you know, that's why separation comes in to actually help you to be in that place of moving away from that place of striving that is not your true authentic self because that's just all the fears the things that you've learned all your life and you start to get to that place of unlearning unconditional love and that is where solitude also comes in to help you to know that you are enough to help you to learn to be your true authentic self so this is where it is all about actually embracing that solitude and knowing that it is helping you to get to where you are truly meant to be, you know, because you get focused, you start going within as well as a divine feminine, and that really helps you to grow. And then the next card was the angel of adventure. And this is really powerful because the adventure card came out for the divine feminines as well yesterday in the reading that I did, the second video. So this is showing you that, you know, you are on an adventure as well on this journey. You know, you are learning so many things. You move from that place of striving to that place of being in flow in relation to your life so you are on this journey of this adventure that is all about learning and you know this is also about you going on adventures as well you know doing things for yourself the things that you enjoy doing and it is about you know it's summertime or here in the northern hemisphere anyway you know this is a great time to go on adventures find the things that you truly enjoy doing and doing those things and there's also adventure coming in for you and your divine masculine as well and then the cards that came out from uh, the power of love spontaneity is the first one you move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations so this is really powerful this is about you know doing just being spontaneous doing certain things you know that you you will actually enjoy as well move beyond the constraints of the minds you know of the mind and you know sort of embrace new situations go on adventures do things that you enjoy and that will really help you as well to get into this place of finding that joy in your life as well so it's about embracing new situations even if you are in solitude right now it is a good time for you to find certain things that you enjoy doing for yourself and being spontaneous and just doing those things because they will really help you as well to get out of the constraints of the you know sort of the usual day-to-day -day life or the life that you're so used to doing getting out a bit out of your comfort zone as well and that will bring in that adventure into your life and the next card that came out is elevation. And it says you're making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. So this is about raising your vibration. It's all about finding that joy, you know, adventures, being spontaneous and, you know, uh, raising your vibration, doing the things that you enjoy doing that will help to raise your vibration. Uh, and that's the vibration of love as well, because that is what you're learning on this journey, moving from that place of striving and fear to the place of unconditional love which is all about that vibration of love so now you're learning to do everything from a place of love so you're elevating as a divine feminine you know you are elevating on your path of of ascension and you are getting to this place of vibrating more from this place of love really beautiful messages and the cards that came out from uh the the daily crystal inspiration so the first one is apophyllite and it's stay positive so the angels are saying stay positive in relation to your journey because you know as we go so yesterday luck is on your side great things are coming it's about you staying positive and knowing that you know 
everything is being prepared for you to come in at the right time for you and you are on the right path as well and Lemurian quotes and, and it's about practicing patience and when that's one of the things that you learn as well on the as a divine feminine on this journey as you move away from that place of striving wanting to make things happen to really sort of understanding that patience is part of unconditional love you know letting things flow and being patient not trying to put conditions on our on on this love and just being patient understanding that everything is coming in at the right time for you so really beautiful messages and we are going to finish off with some angel wishes today to see what the angels would like you to know so thank you angels what messages are coming through for everyone today okay so we've got a few cards here so the first card is don't let life pass you by be among it and live so divine feminine again this is a message from the angels about you know being spontaneous doing the things that you enjoy you know going out on adventures do even if you are in solitude even if you're not in communication with your divine masculine you know whatever or you are sort of you know just by yourself the angels are saying don't let life pass you by find the things that bring you joy the things that raise your vibration and do those things and you know and be in this place of of, of having fun in your life as well because that really helps you on your journey and then the next one is if in doubt ask for inspiration from above so if you are in doubt of anything if you are in this place of worrying about certain things if you don't know which way to go call upon the angels and ask for help from above they're always right there by your side wanting to help you know at all times so ask for the for the advice from above and the next card is only think positive thoughts as your desires are manifesting so really powerful the angels letting you know here that your desires are manifesting remember but, um, luck is on your side so great things are coming in for you so be think positive thoughts two cards stay positive only think positive thoughts about the life that you truly desire set those intentions and keep your thoughts thoughts positive you know focus on those intentions on that end result that you truly desire and that is going to help you to bring in the things that you desire and the last card for today is what seems impossible is possible believe so the angels are saying believe you know what may seem impossible even in relation to your journey, you know, if you're not seeing anything on the 3D, on the 3D, and it just seems like it is impossible, the angels are saying, what seems impossible is possible. Believe and, you know, and stay positive. And that is going to help you to get to where you truly would love to be. So I hope you have a great day, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.